everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Lainey today we're gonna be uh, copying a video done by reach speed on TikTok she's also on YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff she's been doing these videos on TikTok where she shows expensive outfit and then shows an inexpensive outfit or vice versa and then you guys have to guess which one's expensive and which one's inexpensive I love the idea of this because it shows that money can't buy style that's about it also, this video is sponsored by Casetify. You guys already know I'm obsessed with Casetify. I love when they want to work with me. So we'll talk about them a little bit later in this video. Oh, and do you like my Kirby socks? I feel like this is going to be really easy for those of you who watch my videos and know where to get certain items. Here's the first outfit. We've got black cowboy boots, a black slip dress, and a black tote. Leather tote. Real leather tote. <laughs> I love this outfit. I've worn all these pieces together before, and it's one of my favorites. So let's go on to the other outfit, and you guys can decide which one's expensive and which one's cheap. Here is outfit number two. Another slip dress. This one's green. We've got another pair of black cowboy boots because I have a problem, um, but they're different to me. These ones are a little bit higher. And then just a black shoulder bag. So what do you guys think? Number two is the more expensive outfit. You are correct. For outfit number one, my boots were around $30. They were a gift from my friend Shoshi. The dress was 99 cents and the tote was $30. How much is that? Making the entire outfit $61 or $60.99. And then for outfit two, I gotta look some stuff up. The cowboy boots in this outfit are $200. The dress is 118 so we're already at $318, and the purse is actually a little Gucci shoulder bag that was sent to me, but it's vintage, so let me find it. Okay, so the first place I found this, it looks like they're around $350. Oh my god. <laughs> so this entire outfit was $668. That is insane because I don't feel like the looks are that different. Here is the next outfit. I forgot how much I like these little suit vests because, oh my god, I totally forgot about them in the winter time when it wasn't appropriate to wear them. They're so cute. And this outfit is so cute. I have a concert I'm going to tomorrow and I very much might wear this, but that's not the point. So here's outfit number one. We have a pair of sneakers, cargo pants, and the suit vest. Super cute. I'll give you a moment to look at it. Do I look expensive? Do I look cheap? Do I just look ugly? <laughs> okay, let's put on the second outfit. Okay, and here is outfit number two. Again, a pair of sneakers, cargo pants, I have a thing for cargo pants, and another little vest. So, which one do you think is more expensive? number one is more expensive then you are right outfit number one the shoes I got directly off the ALD website so no they're not three grand only hundred and fifty dollars the pants are from Abercrombie they're seventy dollars and then the vest is from who what wear collection and it's hundred and sixty eight dollars why do I feel like I need a calculator for that one don't make fun of me so all together the first outfit was three hundred and eighty eight dollars and think of just how much more expensive we'd get if we were adding purses like that first one. I just feel like the purses give it away. Okay, then this outfit. The shoes are Adidas Sambas. They're $70. These are Real Tree cargo pants. They were $15 off Poshmark or eBay. I can't remember. And then this little vest was from the thrift store and it was a dollar. So this outfit was $86. And this is the first one where I really like that outfit. The more expensive one better than this one. Let me know in the comments if you guys are liking 
help me let me know in the comments if you guys are liking the more expensive outfits or the cheaper outfits. but before we get any further into this video the reason i am able to buy any of these outfits is because i have sponsors so i want to say thank you so much again to k Buy for sponsoring this video that wasn't even planned me just dropping my phone oh my god i didn't even think that i swear you guys think that like i'm a really good actress or something no i didn't mean to just drop my phone but it never matters dropping my phone because we have the case to fight protection all the time. We're always strapped, no cracks, and you can bet I drop my phone like that every single day. So case to fight has Cheesehack 2.0 technology to protect your phone up to 9.8 feet. They also feature a raised camera ring and a beveled front for angle dropped protection. Case Defy's new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% plant-based and recycled materials. They're also compatible with 5G wireless charging. They come in tons of designs, so you can pick your favorite color or print and match your phone to your style or fit your mood. You can also add your name or monogram for a truly custom case. Kate Spice cases are 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They also feature an antimicrobial coating, keeping your case germ-free and killing 99% of bacteria. So if you guys want to protect your phone in the best way possible, go to caseify.com slash Lainey and you can get 15% off your Caseify phone case. You already know, everybody in my life has one of these. They're the best. What else can I say? Let's get on to another outfit. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from purses because to me they're a dead giveaway, but here is the next outfit in the second set. We've got little kitten heels, cargo pants, and this fun lace frilly top. Okay, let's go on to the second outfit. Okay, and here is outfit number two. Before you think something's a total dead giveaway, these are not Mew Mew flats, because that would be an obvious. But we do have a pair of flats, another pair of cargo pants, and this super cute baby doll top. So which one do you think is more expensive? <laughs> expensive you are right in outfit number one we had a pair of kitten heels that I got for around 30 bucks at a thrift store but they are real Mew Mew the cargo pants are the brand Mountain Hardware I got them off Poshmark for $15 and then the top is from the thrift store so that was a dollar so altogether outfit one was $46 on to outfit number two. This one hurt. The flats were $100. They're from the brand Caitlin Pan. She makes dupes of designer shoes, and I wasn't going to pay $900 for a pair of ballet flats. I'm sorry. The pants are from Peachy Den. They're $170. And then this top is from Revolve. I'm pretty sure it was around $70. So all together, this outfit was $370. That's so expensive. But I mean, like, they're both cute. I can justify either outfit, honestly. And that's my issue. Let's go to the next set. Here's the next outfit for the next set. We've got kitten heels, baggy jeans, and a colorful tank top. Let's put on the next outfit. And here is outfit number two. We have another pair of kitten heels, pair of jeans, and this little crochet top. Outfit number two was the more expensive one. You're right. Outfit number one, we had those same $30 heels, the Mew Mew ones that I thrifted 
in person. We had a pair of jeans that I thrifted from the little boy section that were around $5. And then the top was again thrifted, so it was probably around two bucks. So outfit number one cost $37. Outfit number two, these are Giuseppe Zanotti heels. You would think are cheaper than Miu Miu ones, but I got these on eBay instead of in person. So they were 70 bucks. The jeans are Levi's, they were $90 off free people. And then this little top is from Revolve. And it was originally like 120 bucks, but I got it on sale for 20. So I'm gonna count it as 20, because that's what I paid. 170, 180. This outfit was $190. That's so different, and I definitely like the cheaper one better. I don't like these jeans on me at all. I like my little boy's Route 66 jeans. Let's show the last two outfits. Here's the next little outfit. We have kitten heels, this gingham skirt, and this baby doll top. Okay, let's put on the second outfit. Okay, and here is the final outfit. We have a pair of knee-high boots, this little midi skirt, and then this kind of silky cut out top. Which one do you think is more expensive? Outfit number one was more expensive. You are correct. So for outfit number one, we were wearing those same Miu Miu heels. I switched it up on you guys because I don't have that many expensive shoes. So $30. The skirt is from Princess Polly and it was $50. And then the top was from Urban. Let me look how much it was. They don't sell that top on Urban Outfitters anymore, but I'm just gonna guess it was around $50. So outfit number one cost $130. Now outfit number two, the boots I thrifted from Salvation Army and they were only $10. Can you believe that? This skirt was from another thrift store. It was $5, but I got it for half off, so it was $3.50. $2.50. Am I okay in the head? And then this top was from Topshop originally, but I got it off Depop, so I'm trying to check how much it was. Wow, I paid $35 for this top. I was not expecting that. So this outfit cost $47.50 if you want to be like that. But I feel like this outfit looked really, really expensive, and I'm very obsessed with how it looks. I haven't taken this top out in so long, and I don't know why. But that's it for this video. Remember to go to caseify.com slash Lainey for 15% off your Caseify phone case. If you guys like this video, let me know. I'd love to do more. I just really don't have that many expensive clothes, so it's kind of hard to do. So maybe we do it, but with not such a big gap. I don't know, sometimes it wasn't even that big of a gap. I just thrift a lot. But remember to check out Rachel's channel and Rachel on TikTok because she came up with this idea, or as far as I'm concerned, she came up with this idea. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in a few days. I love you so much. Bye!